In this video, we'll take a look at how we can create synonyms on columns in the data sets to greatly improve your natural language query capability for Oracle Analytics. For the sake of this demo, I'll be exploring my Garmin fitness device data that I uploaded to the Oracle Analytics Cloud. Now, when I look at the information contained in this fitness file, we can see things like the activity type. So is this swimming, running, biking, the date, um, the description or the title, how far I went, the calories I burned and so forth. Now I've indexed this already using the default parameters. So we can see here, I've indexed each column. I've indexed the metadata. And uh, for the sake of this demo, I also indexed the data for the activity type measure. We have this column here called synonyms, but I'll leave it blank for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and show you the out of the box uh, experience. So if I wanted to see the distance by activity type, all I would have to do is type distance by activity type. And here we can see that I've done lots of biking over the years versus yards of swimming. That's great, but the truth is most people, you know, if presented with this data, they'd want to see things like, I'd like to see the distance by sport, right? But you see that when I do search on distance by sport, it doesn't find the sport attribute. So with the introduction of synonyms, we can easily enrich this data set by going to the inspector and creating or adding synonyms to the file. So activity type, maybe I want to refer to that as sport. Maybe favorites, you know, for shorthand, I want to call that my faves. Um, the truth is the title is more of a description. So I'm going to go ahead and call that description, or maybe I just want to call it description shorthand like that. And then things like average heart rate, maybe I want to explode that out and actually type average heart rate because if you're using um, text-to-speech and you spoke, I want to see average heart rate, then that's what the text-to-speech engine would type. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and just re-index this. I'll hit save, hit run now, which will invoke or queue up this data set for immediate search. And then a the pro tip here, you can hit the little refresh item to see if your data is completed the index indexing. So we see that it changed. So the index ran and everything's good. So now I'm going to go back here and again, ask for distance, but this time I'll say by sport. And you see that it was able to relate sport back to activity type. And therefore now I have uh, my synonyms defined. So that's great. I've added synonyms to this data set. But that's kind of tedious. I hope I don't have to do that for every data set. Well, fortunately, I uploaded another fitness file called my other fitness file, and I'm going to go and index this one here. So I'll go to the inspector, go to search. So you see that when I come to this um, new data set, which has similar columns to the previous one, in the columns that I dis defined synonyms earlier, I now have a suggestion available and I could just say, okay, sport, I'll use that one. Faves, I'll use that one. Maybe I only want to use description. And so the intent here is that you define synonyms once. Subsequently, every time you upload a new data set, you'll have those synonyms as suggestions for that new data set to simplify and speed up your definitions.